Hello everybody, welcome back. This is GorillaZilla, and we're going to be talking about the new raid for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which is going to be Blaziken. So, let's go over this quick. You can find all this information on Pokemon Database. Um, so as you know, Blaziken is a very offensive Pokemon. It's going to have 120 attack, it's also going to have 110 special attack. But it's more likely going to be a physical attacker, as well as going to have its speed be very aggressive. What I mean by that is it's going to have its special ability or hidden ability called speed boost. Every turn it's going to boost its speed. So this 80, you can just basically ignore it, it's going to be fast. So when we talk about Blaziken normally, it's weakness to Water Flying, Psychic, and Ground. However, because this one's going to be Terra Flying, that makes it a bit easier. However, that does not mean that we should disregard this Pokemon at all. So, here are a couple moves that we should be on the lookout. First off, Flare Blitz and Brave Bird. This is a raid Pokemon. HP doesn't mean much for this Pokemon at all. You can just ignore it for the most part. Brave Bird is the one you're going to be most worried about. Bulk up, focus energy, and it can learn Swords Dance as a TM. Yeah, so it can learn uh, Swords Dance, which is going to be a nightmare to fight against. So we need a tankier Pokemon to fight, at, uh, to fight with. We also are going to be worried about Acrobatics. I believe in this gen he can also learn Knock Off, he can. And Upper Hand is a new move in the game. So if you use a priority move, let's say Sucker Punch, this will go before Sucker Punch and it will flinch you so that you can't... It's like a better version of Fake Out. In, in other words, it's a fighting version so he technically would have Stab if he were still the same fighting type. But anyway, that's pretty much it about Blaziken. So let's go into the Pokemon we want to use. When we want to use things like Maridon, which is going to be our like staple. Again, this is going to be our Legendary. If you have Violet, if you have a friend that trades this over to you, that's great. If not, we're going to talk about the other alternatives. Um, with Maridon, its signature move, uh, Electro Drift, is going to be saving everything. Because it's going, if you want to read this, it's going to... Okay, so the user races forward at ultra speeds, piercing its attack with futuristic electricity. If the, the, moves, the move is boosted by... Uh, being super effective. It's also going to be boosted because we are going to have electric terrain up. The other move that you'll want on your ride on is parabolic charge because you're going to be healing yourself. So the user attacks everything around it. The user's HP is restored by half damage taken by the those hits. So this is not going to hit your partners. It's only going to hit, of course, the raid boss. Um, I'm not sure if Maridon can learn any defensive moves other than Calm Mind, but it seems like that'll probably be- oh, it can learn Reflect. So you'll probably do Electro Drift, Parabolic Charge, Reflect, and we could even say- you could do Electric Terrain to be safe, you can do Protect. Uh, the whole point is Maridon's gonna have to last a while. So you're gonna want to give this Pokemon Shell Bell just to deal with giving off damage and taking damage, if that makes sense. Uh, the other one I want to say that we're going to have to use is Iron Hands because it is electric fighting. So that means it's going to be fairly neutral to the damage, but you'll tear it to electric. Uh, again, this is bulky. You'll ma max out its HP, max out its attack, or you'll max out its HP, give it a higher defense, you know, work on that. You can give it Thunder Punch, and I believe he can learn the new move Super Cell Slam if it's on here. I don't think they updated it, but Super Cell Slam, that move is effectively a high jump kick, but for electric Pokemon. And with him, you would do the same thing. You would give him a Shell Bell, Belly Drum, uh, you give him Thunder Punch or Wild Charge, it doesn't really matter. I prefer Thunder Punch just because you will not be taking damage, but that's entirely up to you. Um, Doing something like paralyzing it. I don't know if he can learn Thunder Wave. Let's take a look. He cannot. Okay, so if you wanted to run this Pokemon specifically, you would probably have to run it by 
playing with other people. So this is not a solo Pokemon necessarily. Because you wanna to wanna to do Belly Drum, you would wanna do your uh, Thunder Punch, you would want to do, you could also do uh, Focus Energy if you really wanna be bold about it and try to do even more damage. Again, this is all about the Shallow Bell. And you could even run Ice Punch just to be on the safer side of things. But the whole point is when you have that Shell Bell, you're gonna be doing so much damage because this attack stat is very crazy. Uh, another Pokemon we want to talk about is not the one you're probably thinking about. There he is. Electabuzz. So Electabuzz is a very, very good candidate, specifically for his natural ability, Static. Static is, a mo is an ability where if you make contact with this Pokemon, it is going to get paralyzed, or has the opportunity to get paralyzed. With this Pokemon specifically though, since it's not a fully evolved one, that means it can use Eviolite. So as you can see, his special defense is pretty good. His normal defense is okay, so you'll want to build this thing with like, max HP, split the defense and special defense, give it all the punch moves except for of course Drain Punch. So you give it Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, you could give it, uh, this will be more of a support Pokemon obviously, because it can learn Light Screen. I think he can learn Reflect, let me just double check here. He cannot. Okay, so no Reflect with him, but he could still learn things like Thunder Wave, um, which is going to be very good. You could also do... Two, 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 two. Oh yeah, he can learn Super Cell Slam, so that's even better. So you can learn Super Cell Slam, you can use uh, Thunder Punch if you really wanted to, Thunder Wave. Uh, Thunder Wave with Electro Ball would be pretty good, but you know, he's gonna be still uh, super defensive as a Pokemon, so you, and you're not gonna outspeed Blaze Connector for a little while. Uh, you could do, um, I just saw it, Bulk Up, which is not a bad option. And you could, oh, oh and if you really wanted to, you can run Rain Dance to lower the fire attacks which would actually be pretty good as a, a, as a support role. Uh, let's see, let's take a gander here. What's the other electric Pokemon? Regieleki is a very, very, very good Pokemon. You can run it uh, uh, physical or special. You probably want to run it special because Blaziken's not going to have that special uh, defense uh, strength. And with the HP, you can do like max the HP, put it in defense, and then put it in special attack. So just like split it out. Don't worry about speed because look at that. He's the fastest Pokemon in the game. Um, you could do Thunder Cage. If you don't know what Thunder Cage does, it's going to be like your Whirlpool, but an electric move. You could also do... Two, 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 two. Let's see. Again, you can run that Rain Dance. You could run... Because you're running Rain Dance, you could also do Thunder or even Zap Cannon, which could be huge in the rain. And you could even run Reflect. So these moves are going to be very vital. Again, with Reggie Lucky, you'll probably want to do Max HP, Split the Defense, and Special Attack. Uh, let's see. Oh, a fun one that I was thinking about for a minute was Goldberg. So Golurk is Ground and Ghost, and as you can see, he takes no damage from Fighting types. When it comes from Flying types, he's neutral. When it comes to Fire types, he's also neutral. But these other moves, Blaziken is likely not to have. He's not. Pro he's probably not going to have a Dark move, Ghost move, Ice, Grass, or Water. He's not going to have these three for sure, because the only Grass move he really has is Solar Beam. He has Shadow Claw. He's not going to run Shadow Claw. Dark. He could have knockoff, we'll have to see, but with Iron Fist, you are going to have a very, very, very fun time. So, you can give this guy Punching Glove as an item, and you can run things like, uh, where is it, where is it? All the punch moves, basically. You can run Thunder Punch, you can run Ice Punch, you can even run Fire Punch. Like, these three are probably gonna be your bread and butter, and you could do Reflect. You could also run this very, defensively, like you can keep uh, Iron Fist, but you could have Protect as your fourth move and just have uh, Leftovers so that you can just keep healing, 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 healing. And I'm not sure how Hard Press works in this game, so if you don't know what Hard Press does when it comes to the, to the raids, the target is crushed with its arm, 
the more HP the target has left, the greater the power. So, this is a move that might fail, but we'll just have to see. Uh, let's see, if we're talking about more electric Pokemon. Uh, okay, here we go. So, there is Zapdos, if you have access to that. That would be pretty good. Zapdos would be really ideal. I mean, the only issue is that you might have to suffer against things like Rock Slide. But with Zapdos, you can run the standard... Um, again, he gets static, which is super good, so you want to ability patch him. And he's got a really well-rounded stat. A ton of, uh, spread. So, what you can do is you can, again... You can do Rain Dance if you really want to. You can do Thunder or Zap Cannon. You can do Roost, so you can make him tankier. And he's going to resist a lot of these moves. Um, so again, Roost, either Zap Cannon or Thunder. You could do uh, Rain Dance, and then end it with, let's say, uh, Thunder Wave. But that's probably not what you want to do. Just because, like, when you get to the shield, you don't want just that empty slot just for nothing. You could probably do something like... Um... <laughs> Not Eerie Impulse, let's take a gander. You could just do just the standard Thunderbolt, honestly. Or Charge, if you're really feeling it. But that's my... that That's something you would have to try out. Uh, let's go back to that electric list. Rotom Wash is actually a pretty good idea as well, because with Rotom Wash, you're going to resist fire, you're going to be resisting uh, flying, you're going to be resisting... Well, I guess there's no really fighting resistance, but that's fine. But he is a very tanky set Pokemon, and he's going to have Hydro Pump, of course, because that's the move he's going to have to have. Uh... Where, why is he, uh... Okay, anyway. So, he's going to have to have, uh... T -t 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 -t. He should have Hydro Pump, I think. Oh, let me do that. That's probably what it is. Wash Rotom. That's not changed either. Yeah, Wash Rotom is probably what you're going to want to do. Because he will have Hydro Pump in here, it's just not showing. Rain Dance would be good, again, just to lower that fire damage, but you're going to be resistant. Will-O-Wisp would be huge, just for this scenario. Just for this scenario. And Reflect. So, like, you don't want... You can choose between these, like Reflect and Will-O-Wisp. I would personally just do Reflect based off of, like, the shield. So, Reflect, Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, and let's say Terra Blast if you make him Water Terra. Uh, let me see here. I want to give you as much as possible. Oh, Thunderous would be a good option as well. Because when it comes to Thunderous, he has Prankster and Defiant. But with Prankster, you can set a lot of things up, like the screens, I believe. Let's see if he's got reflect. Nope, he does not. But there is Clefairy, who's a very good support Pokemon. If you want to use any Pokemon, use Clefairy as a support Pokemon. I'll show you here in a minute. But with Thunderous, you will do Wild Bolt Storm, which will get the paralysis. Uh, you could do... Let's see, let's see, let's see. You could do Thunderbolt, which would be good. You can do Charge Beam, which will boost you over time. Protect for if you want to heal. And Thunderous is like, okay. There's just some stuff he can do that's kind of niche as an electric Pokemon. Basically, think of this as Zapdos, but not as good. And compared to the, like, the static that you can get off. Vikavolt, I'm pretty sure he's, he's neutral to flying, so you definitely don't want to do that. Um, Toxtricity could be really good if Blaziken does not run Earthquake. So, 
Loki. Yeah, no, these are the same. Uh, and their ability is Technician, which could be huge with the metronome item. So let's see what electric moves he gets. So he does get Shockwave, which would be good, I believe. So let's just take a look at Technician here. With Technician, anything with a base power 60 or below, you get a 60% boost. So 60 percent uh, 60 power lo lower so shockwave would be perfect for this and he never is gonna he's, he doesn't miss it and shift gear he's gonna increase his attack and speed what is over it doesn't matter you can do acid spray build him bulky you can do discharge or not discharge sorry um shockwave Actually, you could shift gear nuzzle if you really want it to be efficient. Because with shift gear, you're going to raise the attack by one stage and speed by two stages. So it's like a better version of Dragon Dance, realistically. And you can do nuzzle plus shift gear if you want to build him physical. He's not that far off, actually, when it comes to that. Um... Trying to see what else I could give you. Uh, poison Tail wouldn't be bad either, because you have the chance of poisoning. You have the, yeah, like the physical set might not be bad. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's see. Ah, oh, Spark is so close. Uh, yeah, no, that's probably it for him. I mean, you could do the, the classic Acid Spray, Overdrive damage just because you're going to be doing more and more of that or you can do acid spray sho uh, shockwave which is probably going to be the more ideal one because they're going to get the boost from technician uh you could also do if you run out of tech uh not technician um if you run out of shockwave the thing you can do next is probably thunder shock which is okay but you could just do shockwave thunder shock or you can do shockwave nuzzle where to go? Uh, acid spray and even rain dance just to get a boost with that. Uh, let's take a look at some more electrics. I'm not a fan of Sandy Shocks because it will take fighting damage. Oh no, it's not. Oh, he's not electric steel. I forgot. Okay, no, Sandy Shocks is fine. You can use Sandy Shocks actually. This will probably be one of the best ones now that I see this. Um. So let's check the Sandy Shocks. What do we got here? It's got Magnetic. What does Magnetic Flux do? Oh! You know, if you wanted to do this as a team, if you had Sandy Shocks with the move Magnetic Flux and you had um, Toxtricity on your team with other people, it would actually run really, really well. That's actually really good. So... What you can do as a group is you can do Metal Sound to lower the special defense or Screech, depending on what you're trying to shoot for. I would advise Metal Sound. And you can just do whichever electric move you just feel the best about. Probably not Zap Cannon if you don't have Reyna. Uh, you probably want, or you could do Gravity and Rain, which could be really, really fun. So if you do gravity and rain, you could get a lot of things out of the way. Um, for example, since Sandy Shocks has a high special attack, you could just do rain, zap cannon. Uh, oh, he does get re reflect, so that's even better. So rain, zap cannon, reflect, and let's say... He can, yeah, he can have Thunderbolt, so that's what you'll probably do. Rain, Zap Cannon, Thunderbolt, whichever one. Doesn't really matter. The point is, like, with these Electric types, you just want to focus on getting that damage off as much as you can. I mean, Raging Bolt is a great option, because look at all these resistances. He's probably going to be the best one, because he resists fire naturally, he resists flying naturally. He's neutral to fighting. He's not... Blaziken may have Rock Slide or Stone Edge. 
and that he might go down the focus energy route, but we'll get there when we see it. Um, so, Raging Bolt's special move, where is it? Thunderclap. So Thunderclap is going to be our priority electric move. This is the move that you are run on it always. It will always have Thunderclap, and look how much HP he has. He is ready for Blaze Pin. So you build it with HP, you make it like a modest nature, and build its defense up. He's naturally built against Blaze Pin. So again, you can do Thunderclap, you can do Thunder if there's rain set up. Um, Ancient Power could be really fun because you can get that Omni Boost. Uh, let's take a Gander. Dragon Cheer for your team would be excellent. He gets Electro Web, which is good. Charge would probably really be nice, considering that if you use Charge and Thunderclap, you're going to be doing more damage. Or you'd be doing Charge and Thunderbolt and Thunderclap. This is again, this is your Raging Bolt. You can figure out what you want to do with it, but the electric type moves are. You, you have to have Thunderclap on this Pokemon because it will outspeed you. Blaziken will outspeed you. No matter what. And. Let me see, can it learn any defense boosting moves? See, Breaking Swipe is a good support move because it will always lower the attack. So you could just do Thunderclap, Breaking Swipe, just to get the stats down charge and thunderbolt and that's all you can do like you could just do that and you'd be fine um da, 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 da. yeah no that's it for him uh you could also run gouging fire because his special move let me show you really quickly uh burning bulwark so the user intensely, the user's intensely hot fur protects it from the attacks, also burns the attack target. So what you will do with Gouging Fire, since he also resists fire, and he's gonna resist, he's not, he's not gonna resist fighting and flying. He may be weak to the rock. We don't know if Blaziken will have that rock move, but he's going to do wonderfully against them because of the burning bulwark. And he has Morning Sun. These two moves should be a staple on him. So you can run Morning Sun, Burning Bulwark, Flare Blitz, and he can have Dragon Dance, and Dragon Cheer, and Breaking Swipe. So these two, and he has Dragon Dance somewhere here. Let me just find it real quick for you. Yeah, so he gets Dragon Dance, Dragon Cheer, and Breaking Swipe. He also gets uh, Flare Blitz, uh, Burning Bulwark, and Morning Sun. So those moves are the ones you want to focus on, considering that this will do so much to Blaziken by just whittling him down as a support Pokemon. But if we're talking about Pokemon that you want to use as just more damage, these electric types that I listed off... I mean, you could be funny and do Light Ball Pikachu. <laughs> you really could, but I would suggest not. I'm really a fan of Electabuzz and Zapdos because of their static. Uh, Belly Bolt is always a good option as well because it has static as well. Rotom will be fun. Uh, Wash Rotom's ability is Levitate, so you don't really have to worry about ground-type moves unless he neutralizes and uses Earthquake, which I doubt. Um, when it comes to Electros, I think he learns also Breaking Sway. But he has all access to all the punching moves as well. Let me see if he learns Breaking Sway. He does not. So, with... With Electros, you will definitely run things like Thunder Punch, Ice Punch. You could run Fire Punch if you really think it's important. But I don't think it's going to be important in this match. It would be nice to get the burn off, but... Again, that could be up to, if you want to solo somebody, you could have that uh, Driftblim in the game and just help you out with that. He also does get Gastro Acid, which is very, very, very good, and gets rid of Blaziken's ability. Uh, let me take out Gander. Galvangelo would be good, because 
Oh no, it's it's actually fine because it does it's neutral with flying, but you don't want neutral with flying as much just because that damage is going to be a lot if it uses sword stance. But yeah, so Maridon, Raging Bolt, Sandy Shocks, Iron Hands, Belly Bolt, Regieleki. Uh, where's the other ones? Uh, Rotom Wash. Let's take... Oh, you could even use Rotom Fan if Blaziken does not have any rock moves. Um, oh yeah, Ampharos is also a good option just because it does get static right away. And it's fairly tanky as well. If you just boost its defense and HP, it's already got a high special attack stat. And it does get... Um, Power Gem, which is going to be just a normal damaging move. You do get uh, Cotton Guard, which is really good to boost your defenses. Um, let me see. Yeah, no, like with uh, Discharge, you also get Thunderbolt. Yeah, you're going to have your Thunderbolt. You're probably going to use that more than anything. You'll probably use um, Thunder Wave if you're really feeling it. Reflect, Thunderbolt. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. You would want to use Rain Dance, and then you could do Thunder. That's probably what you're going to do. Reflect, Thunderbolt, Thunder, and Rain Dance on this, and built it again with max HP, max defense, and let the let it be like a modest nature, because that's going to be doing a lot more help when you're going to do that as a solo. Uh, you might be wondering about Electrovire. He is going to be great as a Pokemon. He could be like a stellar Pokemon, you know, the stellar type. And you could technically be doing a ton of damage by having um, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch combo going off your Bolt Beam, if you will. Bolt Punch. <laughs> uh, but it's not going to be as ideal as uh, Electabuzz just because his abilities aren't going to apply at all. Like, zip zero. You could, if you really want to, um, you can do Stellar Swampert. I think that could be fun, because, again, with Swampert, he's not a special attacker, but if you build him Stellar, he's at least going to be doing a lot of damage with, like, Ice Punch, uh, you can even do a couple of different rock moves, like, let me see, he has Smackdown, so that means you could just invest in, like, ground-type moves if you really want to, um, but you want to avoid poison moves and raids, because they just kind of waste time and waste stat benefits, so again, you'll probably do Ice Punch, you'll probably do Avalanche, which would be huge in this, now that I think about it, Avalanche, Ice Punch, um, You'd probably want to do Protect just to, you know, stay safe. Uh, just to, like, heal off if you give him leftovers. And you could even do Hard Press. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Or you could do Whirlpool, which would be good too, just to do, like, passive damage over time. Because, yeah, Avalanche, Whirlpool, uh, Protect, and Ice Punch would probably be good. If you wanted to do hard press, you could. But um, let's take a look at Avalanche, actually, and see what Pokemon can learn that. Because if there's something that resists it, that would be very ideal. Resist Blaze can't suppose. Uh, Blastoise would be crazy now that we see that it has Avalanche, and so would Gyarados. These two could be, cr and Quagsire, and the Slows. Crawdot could be okay, I, I don't see it at all, just because it's going to be weak. Rhyperior with Solid Rock, this is a raid, it's not going to work. Uh, Dongozo's not a bad idea, but still it's not going to be the most idea, ideal. Um, yeah, no, if we look at Blastoise, right? Blastoise has, see it can go kind of either way with physical or special, so you can do Shell Smash Blastoise. <laughs> and, but he can run uh, special too. So let's say you start off with Avalanche, you know, 
You, oh, there it is, right there. So you can do Iron Defense if you really wanted to. You can have uh, Shell Smash. You can have Aqua Tail up. Or not Aqua Tail, uh, sorry, Rain Dance up. And you can just go crazy with that, just by itself. Because with Avalanche, if you go after, you're doing double the damage. And when you're also running Blastoise, you could do, again, Iron Defense and building that defense up. You could run Ice Beam. You could do Shell Smash, just because Blaziken will eventually outspeed you. You're already slower. You're two points slower as Blastoise, right? You're two points slower as Blastoise, slower than Blaziken. Blaziken will get a speed boost off of you already. So the Shell Smash is good, but again, that Ice Beam Avalanche combo, so you can invest in... You will invest in HP. You will always max that HP for these 7-star raids. And you could split attack, special attack, and give like a defense up speed decrease. Yeah, that would be good. That would actually be fun. Because you could do um, Shell Smash, boost your defense with your nature, this, all these Pokemon will be level 100, obviously. Have the attack and special attack split. And give it uh, Shell Smash, Ice Beam, Avalanche, and Protect. And it'll have like Leftovers or a Berry. Probably the Leftovers will be the best. Uh, let's take a look at what other Avalanche Pokemon we have. Because with... with uh, with Swampert, with Avalanche, that's going to be already really, really, really good. Just because you're always going to be slower than Blaziken as Swampert. But... Let's make sure we get everybody here. For Alligator could also be fun. Because you have Sheer Force. And you could just run Sheer Force with a um, Life Orb. And you get that boost without taking any damage. Um, she, obviously, he can learn Ice Punch. See. Yeah, he can learn Ice Punch, he could learn Avalanche if he really wanted to. He has the ability to learn Dragon Dance, but he also gets Breaking Swipe. He can do Whirlpool to do passive damage. Yeah, no, that would probably be it for those Avalanche Pokemon. Um, <laughs> he can also do Slowbro. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Slowbro when it comes to its spread of attack and special attack, he's not a physical attacker at all. Like, zip zero. He's very tanky, so if you did a special attack, you could, uh, if you wanted to do it, you could do max HP split defense and special defense, have heal pulse to heal your team, have slack off to heal yourself. Um, you could have ice beam, which would be really good. I'm on normal slow, bro, right? Yeah, okay. I saw a shell side on it, I was confused. Um, what can he have if he's normal? Yeah, he can also have light screen if you really wanted to. But the normal slow, bro, would probably be better, in my opinion. We can look at it real quick. Yeah, like he resists all the moves that Blaziken would throw out except for flying, which is fine. And with this slow bro, you can also do boosting and even slow king. Realistically, you can do both. With slow bro or slow king, you could do uh, iron defense, calm mind, slack off, and uh, stored power. Those moves are going to be really good. So if you want to see what those do, so stored power. You're gonna get 20 times the number increases plus 20. So, here's the calculation if you want to take a look. So, if we had three stat increases, so let's say we use Calm Mind once, or no, let's see, yeah, we use Calm Mind once, we get in a defense, or wait, we get the special attack, special defense, and somebody uses Howl for some reason. We get the attack increase, right? So 20 times 3, so that's going to be 60, plus that 20 extra, we're going to get 80 increased. So 
If we had all of our stats boosted, that's 860 base damage. That's a lot. So if you're doing three things, defense with iron defense, special attack and special defense boosting, and you're doing stored power damage, and you have, let me show you what slack off does, you recover 50% of the HP. You are going to be set very, very, very well. This, so slow king is probably what I'm going to use because I have one that's already set up like this. He's a very defensive Pokemon. Look how high his special defense is. I built him with more defense and HP just for competitive battling, and he's going to be really good. Yeah, you have that looming dark effect, but quite literally, this dude is going to cause havoc. And, of course, he does have Regenerator, which is the ideal competitive uh, move to have. Um... Yeah, no, I think that's probably about it. So, thank you guys again for joining me. I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Um, it was really fun doing this <laughs> quick and easy tutorial on what to do to prepare for Blaziken. Tune in next time. Catch y'all later. See ya.